The project that started as a means of offering mobility with dignity to injured service men and women has developed into a centre that helps people with both mental and physical issues. And this they do through equine therapy. Key members among the herd at Horseback UK in Aberdeenshire are four ex-racehorses. I must declare a vested interest here as one of the four is my first homebred winner, Delatite. He's found not only a lovely home, but a very useful role with Jock and Emma Hutchison. And I ventured north to the beautiful Scottish Highlands to talk to them about the work at Horseback UK. For the last 12 years, I've been part of a team that has delivered uh, courses to help military personnel and other individuals who've been affected by mental health problems. Uh, when we started, it was physical injuries, but we very soon learned the power of the horse uh, and the power that that horse had to affect people mentally. If we go back to the beginning, I was a Royal Marine Commander. I met 16 young men that had been through uh, life-changing injuries and an extraordinary recovery. And the trouble was they didn't have a future. You know, we were going to get sent home towards Jeremy Kyle. And having left the Marines myself, it's not a job, it's an identity. And I thought that these guys needed a bit more help to adjust to the civilian world, which is very different. But what we learned from that process is that it, it, the guys really needed three things after injury and recovery. They needed community, they needed to be part of a team, because uh, that's what they missed most. They needed purpose in their lives. They, did, they were people that had a lot of energy and they'd always use that energy just to sit and watch daytime TV. It wasn't going to cut it for them. And they need to be empowered. You know, we use the term disabled in society. It focuses on what people can't do. I've met people here with one limb, one arm left, and they still climb mountains. So don't call them disabled. And these people can contribute enormously to our world if we give them a platform to do so from. And we have proven that over the last 12 years. Five years ago, we started out work with young people. Okay, and these were kids that were disengaged from school. And again, the vast majority had lost their confidence, had lost that belief in themselves, and had sort of withdrawn into themselves. So again, it was about reconnection, getting them involved in other people, communicating again, and rebuilding these layers of confidence that we all need to, to function in this world. So at the beginning, we thought that we were going to use horses to give people mobility with dignity. Everybody that was injured physically was affected mentally, and they got disconnected from those people that they had worked with historically, had been friends with historically, because they were going to have to change culture away from them. So the first thing is when people have lost all their uh, social skills and their confidence, they find it very difficult to interact with people. But they don't mind interacting with a horse. And the truth is it's alive, it's not a screen. And the effect of just interacting with something that's alive when you've reached the bottom, you're really in the dark, has a profound effect on people. So we wanted to make sure that the riding here was safe, so the relationship was going to be built on the ground. And that, that building up of the relationship actually proved to be much more powerful than the riding was. Because what it did, it was empowered people to become leaders again. And they hadn't been a leader of anything, not of themselves, not of their lives, not of their fate. And all of a sudden, they were controlling three quarters of a ton of animal. Beautiful animal. I started in racing in uh, the late 90s. I uh, started off down at Charlie Sizer's yard uh, before moving back up to Scotland with Linda Perrett. I uh, spent all, just over 20 seasons with her. Uh, did everything, started off as a stable lad. I uh, spent a lot of years uh, as a travelling head lad. I started struggling with my mental health. Uh, had some serious problems. I uh, ended up in hospital a few times, uh, both with depression and anxiety. From there, got involved with Racing Welfare. Uh, who helped me with some counselling, etc. And they then introduced me up here on a course with Horseback UK. I uh, came up here four years ago on the initial course and found a totally different way of being around horses, and which for myself really brought back the joy of working. A bit slower way of life. Uh, horses are a bit slower on the whole, but we have, have gradually got the yard coming around to X race horses. Uh, we now have a small team of four of them now in our herd. Uh, we've heard of 35 horses here. You know, they have sometimes people give them a bad rap. They say that, you know, a sprinter is difficult to work with. A horse is like a human being, man. It is what it's taught to be. And if all you've ever been taught to do is go flat out with someone on your back, that's what you're going to do. I find the thoroughbreds incredibly intelligent, really sensitive. And when they bind with you, when they you know, it's, it's different than a cob. A cob doesn't care less. A thoroughbred does, because he's still got that angst at the back of his mind. And if you can provide him the security, it takes away that angst. He's going to love you. Everyone's got this impression of, especially of edge racehorses. They're wild, they're nuts. They're not. They're highly trained, 
uh, they need to tend to adapt. They're the most intelligent horse out there, mostly. <laughs> and, you know, they're so adaptable. Uh, you've got the speed, they've got the balance. And a bit like uh, people with the ex Greyhounds as well will tell you, once they've finished with their racing career, they're not really interested in going fast and flat out. If you let them chill out, they're relaxed and happy. And they just make great horses. The brilliant thing about the thoroughbred is that it's, he's sensitive enough you know, and clever enough to react. We've tried using other horses and to be honest with you, there is nothing that compares to a thoroughbred.